Hello, hello, Aries. Miss Arts here with your 2017 reading. I cannot wait to get started. Um, in these readings, I just want to mention they're going to be a little bit different than the December reading. Um, the January reading is going to be without the Rumi card this time because the Rumi card was taking up a lot of time in previous videos. So this time we're just going to stick to our wonderful Archangel Michael power deck here by Doreen Virtue and also I'll occasionally be dabbling in the classic tarot for some basic energy readings, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I did start a Facebook group recently. Um, for those of you that have Facebook, please feel free to join. Um, I will approve your request if you are um, if you are able to um, join us. We would love to have you. Um, it's for Twin Flame family. It's for um, basically light workers, divine unions. You know, we're just all here to help one another. And um, there's one card. Okay. And so far, the vibes are really great in the group. Honestly, everyone's been wonderful. Okay, Aries. Cards are speaking to me loudly tonight. I'm doing this reading... Um, on the 28th, the day prior to the new moon in Capricorn, tomorrow night is the new moon, and tonight, I must say, I'm feeling a whole lot of, you know, powerful energy, I'm really feeling in tune, so I'm glad I'm doing the readings tonight, wonderful card to get, and um, let's see, overall energy. All right, you have the Emperor. Okay, Aries, the Emperor is your overall energy here, and that's wonderful news. You know, a lot of power, a lot of strength is in the Emperor card. This is showing me <clears throat> someone that's really in their power, someone that's taking charge of things. The card says organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. I really see you taking care of business this month. Go Aries. Okay. So, let's leave this here. I'm going to get three cards from the classic deck and see what our overall energy is oh, looking like. And oh, we got one or two that fell, I think. Okay, we got three, I think. Okay, oh, nope, we got more than that. All right, we're going to just shuffle again. <laughs> okay, that was way too many cards. Let's just go for three. Okay, so let's see what January is looking like. Show me the January energy for Aries. Oh, we got one there. Awesome. Oh, wow. That's funny because that looks just like this other card. We got another one. Looking great so far, Aries. Wow. Starting off the readings with a really powerful energy. Really great positive energy, too. Good stuff. Okay. Just want one more. Come on, Aries. Show me the Aries energy. Get the Oh, wonderful. That was big, boy. Well, looking good, Aries. Um, Like I said, this is the first reading I've done, and I'm already starting off on a great note. You guys are in for some great news. So, we have Two of Cups. Unions, partnerships, maybe marriage, commitment. Okay. Ace of Wands. 
creative ideas, successful projects, endeavors, inspiration, and a ten of cups, happy family life, successful work life, bliss, happiness, abundance, happy, 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 joy, joy card. <laughs> so wonderful energy. And let's just say um, the card that flipped facing upwards is the ten of water, which always reminds me it is the basically same thing as the ten of cups. So just to kind of reinforce that, that's kind of funny. Ten of water says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Nice. Okay. I am definitely seeing you taking charge this month, Aries. You are getting your ducks in a row. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's set this up here. We have for you six cards, apparently. Okay. I'm going to flip them all over and see what's happening. Okay, looking good. Is this... Mm-hmm, okay. Great. Okay. This is, yes, how it should be. Okay. All right, so we have... Life experience. I just want to show you the cards first. We have nine of water. Hope you guys can see. I'm trying to get the light there without too much glare. Okay. Nine of water. We got the two of fire. Looking good. Okay. Six of air. Justice and the Knight of Earth. All right. So, first card life experience a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Mm hmm. Definitely. Nine of Water. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Okay, so this life experience, opportunity, significant life event is leading to some happiness. Two of fire. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Uh huh. Okay, I see. Nice. Six of air. Speaking of moving forward. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. Night of Earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. And then we have Justice. Nice ending there. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. All right. Okay, so Aries, I want to just spell out a story really quickly that I'm seeing here for some of you. This may not apply to some, but for some of you this does. So this life experience here, I'm thinking about um, work. I'm seeing this as a career opportunity of some sort, um, being successful, making a grand achievement when it comes to work and career. Nine of water, your wish comes true. I see you, this again, you know, being successful in the endeavor in this huge project or this huge uh, investment or something that's related, I think, to finances. Um, or maybe not finances, but uh, there's a huge endeavor that's happening. That's the point here. Something huge in your life is going on. You are going to be successful with it. You're going to benefit from it, maybe even um, manifest some sort of abundance. Um, you may even come into some money here. Um, I feel like, you know, with that success, this is going to be a really big boost in self-esteem, self-confidence. Um, you're going to feel ready to take on more now. You're going to feel ready to 
really pursue a greater happiness, I feel, for some of you. It's saying you've come into your own. I feel like, okay, new new partnerships or contracts. So you see like this for some of you being um, getting ready, being ready, more ready now to finally now get into this um, a romantic partnership with someone, uh, into like a twin flame union or into a soulmate union, some sort of um, partnership. Or this could also be a work partnership or this could be both of those things, this could be a partnership with a romantic partner, I mean a, a career partnership with a romantic partner, um, or not, but I just feel like you're moving forward with work and love here at the same time, I don't know why I see that for a lot of you, um, like this is like something you and a lover may manifest, I don't know, but um, anyway, next card is Six of Air. I see you traveling or expecting, um, expect travel from someone that you know from afar. Um, this could be this partner that they were speaking of here in this card. Um, said person, said soulmate, said twin flame. The next card, Knight of Earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. I feel like this could be leading to like a marriage of sorts. Um, I don't know. Or just some sort of a more serious commitment when it comes to relationships. And also a serious commitment when it comes to work at the same time. Um, and like I said, for some of you, this will be uh, both of those things incorporated into one. Um, and I like how at the end of this one, this one card, it says time... Uh, it says a guardian angel, and I feel like this could be referring to the same partner, the soulmate that's coming in, a twin flame that's coming in, something similar, something of the sort. And then we have justice, fair and just decisions. You might need to defend your beliefs to others, to some. People may be questioning your actions. Um, people may be questioning just you in general, and um, you just now are not a fan of anyone questioning you at this point like you're just not about that life you're not trying to have anyone questioning your decisions and um you're just standing in your power you know that's who you're who you are um i really feel like again this is sort of like in a marriage kind of aspect too i mean this angel here scales sword in his hand I see this like maybe being legal contracts also. Contracts were mentioned here. This could be referring to marriage for some of you. For some of you, this will be a new business contract. This will be a new investment. This could be for a new project, a new brand, a new company, a new something that you're starting and a lot of you are starting it with a partner. Okay? All right, let's see what else. All right, we're going to pull a roomy card and see what they have to say about this. Give me a Remy card for Aries, January energy, please. Top card was like, oh, I'm right here. <laughs> okay, oh, the human gift. Okay, funny. This card had jumped out right before I started recording this video. Like, it wanted to be here, and I was like, ah, get back in the deck. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what this has to say. I'm going to just go straight into the clarifiers because the explanations can be a little bit lengthy. Okay, grab the book. So just off bat, um, the human gift, from what I remember and from what I always pick up from this card, I feel like it has, you know, a lot to do with many of you coming into your own spiritual gifts personally um, for many of you this has to do with spirit asking you to use your gifts in service to others to heal others to help others um, so I feel like a lot of you will be starting up these businesses like maybe centered around 
helping others and giving back to the world, healing others. Um, they're authentic. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling this. Okay, so the human gift. This oracle comes with sacred guidance for you. You are stepping into empowerment in a new way, and it is to be honored. Do not allow yourself to be dragged into dramas or power games. And I'm just saying that Aries can be prone to letting that happen and getting caught up in other people's drama. Yeah, don't. Not this time. <laughs> time for you to just take care of yourself and focus on you. All right? Uh, that's what Spirit wants me to mention. Do not allow yourself to be dragged mm -hmm, into dramas or power games. You are worth so much more than that. You are worth so much more than that. You are tapping into your inner dignity and others may not know how to respond. Some will respond with love and acknowledgement. Others with fear and judgment. Calling you too big for your boots or high and mighty. Those are the voices of fear not truth. Be, be in your dignity and power and keep going. It is the divine that urges you thus, not the ego. Do not doubt the changes happening within you now. Embrace them. This oracle comes to you with sacred portent. You are fast approaching a moment of a great leap, an evolutionary shift on your spiritual path. Your sense of yourself and your divine identity is about to be revealed and realized in a way more potent than ever before. This is wonderful. It is a divine happening and you must allow it. Do not confuse humility with humiliation. Do not humble yourself excessively. You do not have to battle with false pride either. Simply honor yourself as a living being, worthy of life, worthy of this royal path of divine realization. And what a gift it is to cast aside Belief in inferiority or superiority. Unhelpful as those notions are for you now. What a gift instead to embrace your own path. Irrespective of what any other may think. Whether they hold it in glory or derision. Awesome. So step into your power. Aries, know your worth. Don't get caught up in other people's um, malicious comments and their hatred, their jealousy, their insecurities, their fears. They see you stepping into your power now and some people may not know how to react. I see maybe a lot of you in your social circle maybe just like kind of mm, put off by you really like claiming your power now and stepping into your your boots, like they said in the explanation, I just really see a lot of you truly doing what's right for you now. And some people will not be able to know, uh, you know, handle it. Some people will not be able to, they won't know what to do with it. And then there are others that will be happy for you, happy to see you rising and elevating and shining, ascending, you know. And those are the people you want to keep near and dear to you in the following, um, you know, in the following year. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this reading. I'm just looking at the timer to see how long it's been. Oh, okay. I thought that said 10 minutes. I'm like, what? It feels like longer than 10 minutes. It says 19. Alrighty. Anyways, Aries, you have really great cards in your reading. Amazing, in fact. And I'm really excited to see what everyone else's cards are looking like. Um, so far, I mean, it seems like January doesn't look too bad, but uh, it's really soon to tell. So 
Yes, give thanks, be grateful, get ready for blessings, and open your heart to receiving them. Give thanks and you shall receive ten times more than what you have. Always. Alrighty, Aries. So be grateful for everything and um, manifest only love, only light. Be love. And please, light up the darkness, okay? Raise the vibration. <laughs> Raise the vibration. Alright, guys. Love and light to each and every one of you. Thank you so much, and uh, if you like what you see here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do readings every week, at least twice, sometimes three times a week, and sometimes more than that. And uh, most of the time, it's live stream. So, yep, join me, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Thanks, everyone. Namaste.